beautiful day. When you say Roxana, or Roxy as the locals call her, is having a time in Glovertown. During the day, her time is spent here, weighing and sorting raw crab. This work is a little smelly, a little messy, and a lot of standing up in the same spot. We've got a nice uh, view of your plant here. What's it like 30 years ago, there? Rhonda Verge owned another plant with her dad in Hickman's Harbor on Random Island. Back then, people lined up to work at fish plants. Six generations down the line, passed out, and he's done nothing but S-H-I-T to his... But then the cod moratorium hit, and it hit hard. Rhonda and 30,000 others had to find new jobs. With the moratorium came the opportunity to retrain. So I decided to uh, take my second passion, you know, nursing, and uh, went back to school. Sitting on a wharf like this, or even just smelling the salt water, that's what kept calling Rhonda back to the fishery. So after 20 years of nursing, she went back to her roots and bought this fish plant. The former owner had to get creative to find workers by first bumping up wages and then buying this bus to get workers to the plant. But they had to go even farther. Hola. 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 Now the bus is full of workers from Mexico. See you Friday. It's the end of the crab season. Time to have a party. Why is it spicy? No. There's food and music, and there's Roxy. She sends a lot of her paycheck home to pay for her son's university. But her other son, Yamir, is here for work too. Yamir makes more in one day at the plant than working for a week in Mexico. I miss my brother, but it's okay because it's just like little time and it's for better future. A lot has changed since the cod moratorium. Every year, plants all over the province are bringing in more and more temporary foreign workers from places like Mexico, Taiwan and the Philippines. This year, about 300. Temporary foreign workers make up about a third of the workforce here at Terra Vista. In rural Newfoundland, the population is dwindling, and that population is older. So workers have to come from somewhere. No, it's not hard at all. No, we enjoy what we're doing, and we love what we're doing. Yes, that is a bit of a Newfoundland accent. I didn't learn English in a school or in any part of Canada, any other part of Canada. I just learned English in Newfoundland. So I may have an accent, or I may say words that you don't know what that means. Erica and her husband, Danae, spent some of their Newfoundland cash on their wedding at a resort in Mexico. They even invited their Newfoundland friend and boss. The wedding was so elaborate and so beautiful. These newlyweds know a lot about the seafood they're processing. In Mexico, they're marine biologists. We see our future here in Newfoundland. Yes, I think for the fisheries, or for what we study, and we love we are around the ocean. It's an island, so <laughs> nothing can be more perfect for marine biologists than that. <laughs> they want to stay permanently, but it's tricky. The temporary foreign worker program is just that, temporary. It has limitations. If workers even want to apply to become permanent residents, there's a whole list of requirements they need to meet first. The people in this town hope the workers and their culture will stick around. I did have one thing that was really, really spicy, i got to say, and uh, it really caught me by surprise. But the rest of it, delicious. Rhonda and Vaden's contribution, Mary Brown's chicken. I love it, Mary Brown's. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes language gets in the way, but food and music makes getting along and fitting in a little easier. Caroline Hillier, CBC News, Glovertown.